Amazon recently announced AWS Amplify Studio, uh, which is a visual development tool for front end developers to create uh, UIs with minimal coding. Uh, minimal coding, I maybe would use in quotes. I took it for a spin for a little bit um, and kind of got lost with what one needed to do in a couple of spots. So this video is to hopefully uh, help anyone else who may get st stuck in those same same places. I don't typically use Figma, so Figma isn't something that I was uh, I'm particularly adept with and also had not used any of the uh, Amazon products pre previously. So before this video, I did create accounts with Figma and on some of uh, Amazon's services and did kind of do a couple of walkthroughs. So hopefully this won't be too too much meandering and we can kind of get to the meat of it. Uh, so let's get to it. So there's, uh, at least in this public beta phase, uh, one of the items in the documentation is that you do need to use this AWS Amplify UI kit. I did see in the documentation that at some point in the future, uh, the goal is where you can use your own Figma file, but for now uh, you need to use this existing one. So let's get started. Um, and so we're gonna build an app just down here. And let's just do play that. Let it work its magic. Okay, so that phase is done. We've got a staging environment set up. All right, and let's launch Studio. Okay, you can see the start there. And we're gonna skip some of these initial statements, uh, steps here, and we're gonna jump into um, building the UI. Okay, and we're gonna do, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the, ampl the Amplify design file We're going to duplicate this here. Actually, I'll delete these things over here. Let's move this over. Okay. So let's Thank you. 
This was one of the places where I got stuck earlier. Uh, so we need to share. We're going to need a shareable link, which is this link here. And there was a place that we, it was where one pasted it in. Okay, so we duplicated the Figma file. Da, da, da. Okay, so this is where we're at now. We want to link the Figma file in Studio, in Amplify Studio, enter the URL. Yep, so Amplify Studio, just where in Amplify Studio do we do that? Which I've already forgotten. In the UI Builder section of Amplify Studio, UI Builder, UI Library. Ah, there it is. <laughs> so obvious. All right. Continue. Okay, and it's important here to click the accept button, which I think is ends up doing one by one. Since we want all the components, we're going to do an accept all. And we're going to start to see them appear here. Okay. We come over here to my components. These are the pre-built components. You can delete them. You can either delete all, some, or none. So what I did before is I took one and I came over and I duplicated it. And then I just, for grins, changed the background. So we now see that there's been an obvious change there. If we sync over here, we're not gonna see the number 28 go to 29. So we still have 28. So what you needed to do is click on this component and we basically need to, need to say create component. And let's just give us a name too. So now this is a duplicate. And now since we've made it a component, if we sync with the Figma, or excuse me, Amplify Studio, and say accept all, we now see 
that it that that item has come over here. Okay. So that's it for this video. Happy building.